Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned indirect methods such as parallax, radar, and triangulation methods used for the measurement of large distance. When it comes to the measurement of very small distance, such as the diameter of a wire or the inner or outer diameter of this aluminum gasket. Then we use a screw gauge or a vernier caliper. In this video, we are going to learn about vernier calipers. I will show you how this device can be used to measure the diameter of an aluminum gasket. The device you see here is known as vernier caliper. It is used for the measurement of small distance such as the diameter of pendulum bob, the diameter of a gasket and so on. If you look at the, the construction of this uh, device, you may find uh, it uh, consisting of um, a scale known as main scale which is calibrated in centimeter and also in inch. Apart from this, there is one more scale present in this device known as vernier scale. Vernier scale have got uh, 10 divisions then we will talk about the least count what is least count least count is actually the smallest value that can be measured using a device the least count of this vernier caliper is nothing but 0 0.1 millimeter this uh, shows that we cannot measure a length which is less than 0.1 millimeter using vernier caliper. And how to find out the least count of uh, vernier caliper? For that, we divide one main scale division with the total number of divisions in a vernier scale. If you see the distance between two small lines in the main scale is nothing but one millimeter. So here one main scale division is equal to one millimeter and uh, Total number of vernier scale division is 10. So we divide 1 millimeter with the 10. We get 0 0.1 millimeter, which is the least count of vernier caliper. Then, if you look at this carefully, you may find it consists of 1, 2, 3, and 4 jaws. These two are called as lower jaws used for the measurement of outer diameter of an object. These two jaws are known as upper jaws used for the measurement of inner diameter of an object. Apart from this, these two jaws which cannot be moved are called as fixed jaws and uh, these two jaws which can be moved are known as movable jaws. To move uh, these jaws you need to push this part of vernier caliper with your thumb this way just push it then it can be moved towards left or right in this way. This the construction of vernier caliper. Now one thing I forgot to mention, 
if you look at uh, this rod that produces outside now when you move this towards left side it goes in when you move the jaws towards the right it uh, comes out this rod is present to measure the depth of beaker or some vessel oh this is about uh, the construction of vernier caliper now i will use uh, this uh, vernier caliper to measure the outer diameter of this uh, aluminum gasket for that you need to place this between lower jaws now let us cut tightly now i will find out main scale ready for that check which line in main scale coincides with zero of vernier scale see this is zero of vernier scale it coincides with this line of main scale its value is this 4 4.1 is 4.2 here 4.2 is the main scale reading but if you look at this gap you may find there is a small gap is present between this line and zero of vernier scale we need to find out this gap for that only we have vernier scale to find out the length of that gap we check which line in a vernier scale coincides with with a line in a main scale if you see this line do not coincide this also do not coincide whereas this this line do not coincide and this line you see this line coincides with a line in main scale so this one is third line okay 3 vernier scale coincidence is a 3 here when vernier scale coincidence is corrected for zero error we get vernier scale reading this vernier scale reading is nothing but 3 here is multiplied with least count which is nothing but 0.1 mm after multiplying vernier scale reading with the least count we add this with the main scale reading it provides us diameter of the outer diameter of this uh, aluminum gasket so the value obtained is 4.23 cm this is the outer diameter now after getting this value we change the position and again we take the reading it is repeated for four or five times for different positions then the average value is obtained which gives us the outer diameter of this aluminum gasket now if you want to find the the inner diameter what you need to do is place the upper jaws inside the gasket and move the jaw towards the right now it holds the gasket in this manner if you repeat the same procedure you will get uh, the inner diameter of this gasket this is how one can find the outer and the inner diameter of an object how to find 
the zero error. To find the zero error, move the jars very close to each other, then check whether the zero of winner scale coincides with the zero of main scale or not. If they coincide, then there is no zero error. If uh, the zero of winner scale is uh, on the right side, then the zero error is positive. If uh, the zero of uh, main, uh, winner scale is on the left side, then the zero error is negative. If the zero error is a negative, you need to add the error to get the exact value. If the zero error is positive, you need to subtract the error to get a, the error free value. I will show you how to get a Venice scale coincidence. For that, I use this scale. I'll move it this way. Now, if you look at this carefully, you may find this is the zero of Venice scale. It coincides with this line in main scale. So the main scale rating is 1.1. Now I will find out the Venier scale coincidence. For that, I'll check which Venier scale division coincides with a line in main scale. See, this line do not coincide. This also do not coincide. Whereas this line coincides with a line in main scale. So this is the Venner scale coincidence. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.